is a nomadic RV? Well, I think it's any recreational vehicle that allows you to be a nomad. When I first got mine, the first thing I did was take out all the seats. And then, and then I blocked all the windows with a vinyl that shows no light through it. The next thing I did was put this up to divide the back and the front. The next thing I did was build a frame for a bed, for a twin size bed. And then I went and got a mattress, brand new. And put that in. What I did after that was got sheets for it and a zero degree sleeping bag, which really saved me when I was stuck in uh, South Dakota, freezing. Um, after that, I think I added a fan. It was a white one though, and it was run by AC and it just it took too much power so I got this one which is now run by DC it's a little louder but takes a lot less power um, after that I put that table in right there and the cooler I got the cooler and I also got the Mr. Buddy heater run by propane back there in the oven. I don't know if you can see that. It's a one burner oven. Then I put the dresser in that you guys have all seen. And then I pretty much hit the road, and I just made I just made um, updates to it while I was on the road. I think people worry too much sometimes that they have to get everything ready first. I certainly didn't. Um, I was pretty much like a fourth of the way ready, and I just started living on it and traveling around. As far as uh, bathroom goes, this is my pisser right there with a nice wide mouth on it. And um, I've always been close enough to bathrooms. I mean, it's 2014 and you pretty much go anywhere here in America and there's bathrooms you can use so it's not that big of an emergency or big of an issue um, I have taken showers out of buckets though <laughs> wipe yourself down you get used to it and you get really good at it and really clean actually you can get cleaner Ah, never mind, I should have said that. Um, but yeah, that's my nomadic RV. As you guys can see, I'm not, like, living the life of the rich and famous or something. So, 
I mean, there's no reason to hate. <laughs> but it's it's still a good lifestyle. A lot of experiences and stuff. It's the experience that matters. And I... I can remember wanting to do something like this ever since I was a kid. I think it sparked. And I remember the first time I actually recognized a sunset as beautiful. When I was a kid and I was up north at a cabin. And um, I think that sparked a lot more than I realized. Anyways, guys, for any of you guys just starting out to do this, um, I definitely re recommend a cooler over a fridge because there's much less to hook up and everything like that. And I recommend a five day cooler. This igloo works great for me. And, um, Just this here and instead of getting bags of ice for it always get the blocks of ice because the blocks of ice last way longer I know this is a five-day cooler but I've had I put two blocks of ice in there and I've had it Everything was still cold nine days later. And that was in the Southern California desert. So that's pretty good. That's keeping my van shut. And it getting really hot in here. So yeah. That just happened. Um, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. So I carry this round. And, um, yeah. Live free, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye. Also, wrap those blocks of ice in a couple garbage bags before you put them in your cooler. And that will f keep the water from melting and so we're getting girl. all your food all wet and yeah everything. you good girls you my girl who's your boo boo waka waka diddle diddle stinky stinky pew pew dinkies yeah oh you're my who's your boo boo i'll be loving you Hey guys, I'm gonna measure this for you. <clears throat> so, it's inside here. Five. Five feet. Oops. Inside here is five feet exactly. And let's see how far it is long in here. Let's get it all the way up to that solar panel there. How about that? Go. Go. Here, a little rock that's if it was still up. About nine and a half feet. Because it was sagging, so. Here you go, guys. And if I've got any electricians out there, if you guys can tell me how the heck I can keep this fan from 
interfering with the Wi-Fi signals, that would be sweet because every time it's on, not only does it interfere with the Wi-Fi signals around, but also my cell phone signals. So if anybody knows how, let me know. Thanks guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and friend me on Facebook and um, live free. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys. I also thought I would tell you about another guy that's just starting out his van stuff, um, building up his van and all that. Um, I think he's struggling for some subscribers, so I, so I thought I'd help him out. His name is John Cosmo, um, and I'll provide a link below, so if you guys feel like it, you can go check him out. Um, he's just building up his van and stuff right now. So go check him out. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. There's another guy too. Um, his name is Caleb S. I'll include his link too if you want to check him out. He just got his van and he's probably going to be building it up and stuff. So shout out to you, Caleb. Peace. Thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later. Say bye, Sober. Booja boo boo. Waka waka. Okie dokie, diddle diddle, yeah. Peace out, guys.